Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with my Mayhem character and also because I didn't really get to make a guide this go around because it was just very very quick for me. I didn't have enough time. I've tried to record this video twice and it's been muted both times now somehow. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So real fast what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am just going to go run through like Ashen Fields. Go kill the boss for you guys so you can kind of see what the character is going to be like in the campaign. For the most part, it's exactly the same as Inquisitor. It's just, it's going to feel a bit more squishy in the campaign because you need to like really level up as Juggernaut. Juggernaut's Ascendancy gives them 40% increased life regen, whereas Inquisitor gets a 2 times multiplier because of Pious Path. Don't let that scare you. Juggernaut is an absolute beast once you have like some basic rare equipment. You can see the damage is really good in the campaign too, and this is actually with a 3 link. Just gonna run through Northern Forest here just a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop, and I'm gonna go and explain the character for you. Oh yeah, this also comes with a loot filter too. I made a Mayhem specific RF Jug loot filter, so if you want the filter, you can always just pop on my stream and just hit up the filter command, uh, and it will pop it up for you. Alteration, yum. Okay, so a short little demonstration i'm going to go ahead and kind of talk about the character right now and then i'm going to open up the pob and we're going to talk some more so um the standard character progression for my jug rf is you start here and you are literally just going to go like this and the reason why is you really want to rush your damage nodes so you get them early right so here we have our first set of actual damage which is divine judgment um very very big damage i personally recommend the ellie res master it helps a lot and then you come up and you grab Spiritual Aid. You need to make sure to read Spiritual Aid. I get a lot of questions on here. Um, by taking Spiritual Aid, minion damage affects you. And this doesn't mean you need to go crazy and get minion damage on everything. It's just actually a very efficient source of pathing if you don't have access to a Cluster Jewel. As it's day one in the league, we don't really have a Cluster Jewel. And Jug's start is all defense, whereas Inquisitor's start is all offense. So I prefer to take Spiritual Aid. Uh, all right, and that's pretty much it for the barebone basics of how you start. Um, so talking about the gear, um, once you actually transition the RF, it's very similar to Inquisitor. So you can see my weapon is just has got a burn damage suffix, and I crafted fire damage. You could have a multi scepter and craft fire damage. You could just have a high fire damage craft. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you're just looking for something with high increases or high multi or plus gems. Um, helmet. Oh yeah, and then in here I've got hex touch, flammability, frost blink. That's, that's basically, we'll call it like the bread and butter of kind of how I apply my curses. Uh, my helmet, nothing really crazy, life, int. Um, Juggernaut does struggle with int in the early game. Once you get your tree and you actually path out, int is not a problem, but at the very beginning of the game, int can be annoying, so you might want to secure some int on some gear. You might want to use something like a turquoise or a lapis amulet. Um, you can buy them from the vendors. Also, you can also take versatility for dex and int in the early game. So going over my helmet, I've got Righteous Fire, Ink AoE, Burning Damage, and Ellie Focus. For players who want more damage and less AoE, you can replace Ink AoE with Efficacy. My shield is just a plus one fire. Um, you don't need anything like this. The damage is still very fine even without it. Uh, this is pretty much just leveling gems here. So I have Trap and Mind, Arcane Surge, RF. This does not do anything. Uh, my boots are very strong flippy floppies. You may not be able to find these in Nuri class anymore. Uh, we've got fire trap, combustion, and life tap. Then over here on my gloves, they're actually really bad. They only have an increased life regenerate roll. Uh, I've got life tap, shield charge, and faster attacks, and that's where my zoom comes from. Belt is nothing special. Uh, and then chest piece is actually quite okay, and it's got the vitality arrogance, which you can see right here. So it's reserving my life instead of MP. And then I have my Stone Golem, Determination, and Purity of Elements, which are on my Life Pool. As we branch out a little bit further and we come down here to the new set of Reservation Nodes, just like the Inquisitor, we're going to get a Conqueror's Efficiency, and then we're going to slap on Malevolence. So, enough of that. Let me go ahead and Alt F4 and go over the POB to explain to you guys a little bit about what we're doing. So, let me just Alt F4 that and open up Path of Building. 
Okay, so there's going to be two POBs for you guys. Um, one, I'm not going to do this one now, but I'm going to give you the POB of the character I just showed. And number two is going to be this other one. So on my website over here, you can see that there is a POB here called RF Jug Mayhem Event. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to import it and kind of go over it with you guys. So this is basically literally the character I'm playing right now. This just doesn't have any gear because it takes so much time to make. So instead, I've injected information. So over here is our drop down. So you can see everything is, you know, nice and easy to follow. Um, so you should not really struggle with that part. However, people still will struggle because of the lack of knowledge. So this is where I kind of turn to the notes. So in here, there's a lot of text. I'm going to simplify how easy everything is. So let me go ahead and get started really fast. So this right here is the vendor recipe for leveling for casters. If you do not know what this is, I highly recommend you learn. It just helps you level so fast on a caster. Anytime you hear me talk about flat damage to spells and stuff, this is the way to level. Like even as a Marauder with zero damage nodes, if you get this recipe right here, you will like three shot rare monsters with your rolling magma. It is very, very, very strong. I cannot stress enough at how important it is to do this. Um, now, another thing about this is Juggernaut does not get these standard leveling gems. So over here, we talk about muling. There's also a command on my stream if you want to use it. If you make an Inquisitor, all you really need to do is get your rolling magma, um, flame wall if you want to get flame wall, and then I think um, frost blink, and there might be like one other gem I forgot under the mule command. If you want to go even further, you can go all the way to Mr. Evil's Cavern, also known as Mervale, and you can get Flame Surge. It's not really needed. Um, just Rolling Magma is enough, because you're going to be using Rolling Magma, Ellie Prolif Combustion, and that annihilates by itself. All right, uh, over here, for players wanting a complete POB, you can refer to my Endgame Jug from this league. So this is my level 100 SSF Jug that you can look at for more like Endgame options. Uh, also, do not forget, if you get stuck, you can go to the website I showed. Uh, obviously, my stream will be happy, happy to answer any questions pretty much all the time. Then over here is a PoE Ninja Link. This PoE Ninja Link... Um, oops, it is. I think I... Okay, there we go. So this PoE Ninja Link is pretty cool. Um, the reason why it's kind of cool is because you can actually track it back in time. So this is showing the progression of my character over time. So... You could literally look at what I was doing, like, I think by a weekly, weekly basis, right? So kind of an interesting one. Um, then over here, we have a nice little image to show you guys for gear progression. Um, a lot of people struggle to understand what is in what slot. So Flynn made just a super little easy thing that you can kind of look at. Now, granted, some of this is for a little bit later. It's not necessarily for like right away. You're like level six on mud flats and you're trying to figure out what to use where for the most part you're just getting life res and if you get life regen that's awesome but once you're getting past that this is where you kind of want to turn to right and this is all explained on my website and in my videos but for people who just want more you know easy condensed information uh, I tried to put all of this in here for you then a bunch of info and then the last thing to really talk about would be the auras so people always struggle with auras I did my absolute best to put an act by act breakdown of what you need to get what aura set up so you can see everything located right here all the way to the end game version when you go uh skitterbot tempest shield all right last things to cover kill all your bandits always then kill them one more time for me again um your uh, pantheon will fluctuate based off your progression you always use ralakesh minor your major will fluctuate between um arakali and Brian King based off of what you're doing, your progression, and your preference. All right, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Mondays at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys all in Ray class.